An earthquake is a sudden shaking of the earth as a result of the movements of lithospheric plates. Sometimes two lithospheric plates, instead of coming together or moving away, they simply slide past each other. When two plates slide past each other, the effects can be pretty violent. This is because these plates have several irregularities on them. When these plates slide past each other, the jagged edges of the plates sometimes get caught against each other. When they get released, after this tug of war of tectonic plates, the energy released causes vibrations. These vibrations move in the form of waves and shake the earth violently. This violent shaking is sometimes so intense that it can collapse entire buildings and cause huge dents on roads. They can even turn railway tracks and cause shifts in certain landscapes. Sounds scary, doesn't it? But think about it. How does the shaking under the surface of the earth destroy so much above the earth? Isn't it strange? All right, let's use a demonstration to understand how vibrations under the surface cause havoc on the surface. As you can see, we have created structures with sugar cubes here. What we are going to do is create an artificial earthquake with a hammer from under this table. You see that? The sugar cubes near the center fall first because they are vibrating the most. Why is that? This is because when the vibrations are created, they travel as waves, which are the strongest at the place where they originate. They gradually reduce in intensity as we go further from the center. When it comes to the earthquake, the place on the surface where the earthquake seems to be originating from is called the epicenter. The point inside the earth, right under the epicenter, is called the focus. In our demonstration, the common center of all these circles is the epicenter. And the red band where we hit the stick acts as the focus. Because that's where the vibrations originated. Now, through this demonstration, we can get an idea that even during real earthquakes, the effects are similar to what the sugar cubes must have been through. Usually, the regions that are closer to the epicenter of the earthquake seem to experience the most damage. As we move away from the epicenter, the severity of the earthquake gradually reduces. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.